I wish to start by thanking the leaders of uh, East African community for your commitment and efforts in finding a solution for this challenging security and other situations in our region. Let me take this opportunity to thank the chairperson of the East African community, President Evariste Ndaishimye, as well as the chairperson of the ICGRR and the AU mediator, President Joao Lorenzo. And I would like to express appreciation to President William Ruto and the East African facilitator, former President Kenyatta, for dedicating sufficient time and energy to this problem, which has a complicated and long history, but is nonetheless solvable. For almost three decades now, the problem of insecurity and stability, instability in Eastern DRC has festered and remained unresolved. This situation has negatively impacted our region, including the issue of hundreds of thousands of Congolese refugees who are unable to safely return to their homes, as well as impeding trade and investment with negative implications to the whole region. The primary reason for this persistent crisis is the failure to implement the many agreements that have been reached at various levels and at different times in past years. I most sincerely believe that this time around these efforts are going to bear good results. The recent resurgence of one armed group among many others, has received a lot of attention globally, and this comes on top of other unresolved security and political challenges. We therefore welcome the region's swift response and the robust mechanisms being established to save lives in Eastern DRC and address the dangerous escalations that threaten neighboring countries, including Rwanda. What is needed today more than ever is a steady political will to implement the ongoing regional initiatives, particularly the East African-led African community led the Nairobi peace process and the African Union mediation by President Lorenzo of Angola. This should include seriously addressing the root causes of insecurity once and for all, which will make a real difference in resolving the security concerns of the DRC and the neighboring countries. The current framework that the leaders of the region have established and the decisions taken at the last week's summit in Rwanda are a real opportunity to find a durable solution. It is therefore in the interest of all of us to stay the situation be a, peren a perennial problem. On this, you can count on Rwanda's full support 
toward a lasting and permanent solution. Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished uh, delegates participating in this meeting, I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, again for the words of wisdom and words that promote this process. It's my pleasure.